Welcome to Sairam Tribali YouTube channel. Let us discuss representation of a power system components in that we have a transformer. The basic definition we must know, right? Because uh, being a uh, sixth semester, we should know. Transformer is a device which is used to transfer the power from one place to another place or one circuit to another circuit without changing its frequency. Transformer is operated by AC, not DC. Keep it in your mind because uh, uh, flux linkage occur uh, only in AC, right? So, next question, how it is related to uh, power system uh, components or power system, right? So, I can say transformer is the heart of the power system because uh, whatever we are stepping up and stepping down uh, will occur in the transformer, right? So, we can find transformer in the power station for stepping up purpose uh, because generating voltage is 11 kilovolts in India. So, again we are converting into uh, 33 kilovolts or 66 kilovolts or 20 kilovolts, right? So, again it is transferred from uh, power station to substation. In that substation again we have a step down transformer which converts uh, 220. One thing you must uh, keep it in your mind. So, whatever uh, 220 is uh, uh, from the power station you will not get in the substations, right? Because uh, there is a drops will be there, loss will be there. So, again that is uh, reduced into 210 or uh, 200. So, again it is converted into two, uh, 200 to 11 kilovolts uh, in the substations. So, the best example nearby your home, you can find uh, H pole mounted uh, substations, right? Or uh, um, concrete uh, mounted uh, substations or uh, underground uh, substations also available, right? So, there uh, there is a power is uh, um, converted into like um, step down into uh, 11 kilovolts to 450 or uh, uh, 230 volts single phase because in our home uh, required only uh, 230 volts or 415 volts. Uh, uh, voltage. Why? Because uh, whatever uh, what electrical appliances or electrical uh, equipments, uh, whatever they manufactured, uh, uh, the voltage uh, input voltage uh, must be 230 plus or minus 5 percentage of tolerance uh, is a single phase and then 415 volts, uh, 3 phase will be there. So, 3 phase uh, for uh, lifting of water. They are using 3 phase induction motor, keep it in your mind and uh, single phase for domestic appliances, right? So, Transformer uh, uh, the basically uh, works on the principle of uh, mutual induction, everybody knows. So, supply is given to the primary side, induces EMF in the secondary side due to mutual uh, flux linkage and also transformer is uh, operated by statically induced EMF because uh, field is rotating, uh, I mean uh, conductors are uh, stationary, right? That's why it is called as a statically induced EMF. Just I'll be giving one uh, uh, basic. Suppose, uh, all of us know, uh, knows right, uh, uh, self-induced EMF, supply uh, is given to the uh, winding, what happens, uh, uh, induces EMF by itself. I mean, when rate of change of flux occurs or rate of change of current occurs, uh, so the induced EMF uh, by itself, right? So, if you place another one coil near to each other, what happens? Induces EMF in the secondary side. That's a transformer working. So, we'll move on to power system uh, uh, side. So, there is a supply voltage is V1, just you consider... Uh, any voltages like 11 kilovolts or uh, 230, uh, so, I mean, no, 220 kilovolts or whatever. So, there is a V2 is the induced voltage in the secondary side, right? So, there is a primary winding and then this one is a uh, primary re refer to secondary or secondary refer to primary. So, this one is a uh, active component of uh, this uh, transformer, this one is a reactive component. See here why there is a R1, X1, or R2 by K square, whatever. So, R1 is the resistance of the winding, X1 is the reactance of the winding, right? So, K is the turns ratio, it is a ratio of uh, um, secondary turns secondary turns to the primary turns or secondary voltage to the primary voltage, I mean induced voltage, okay. So, that is a transformer, it is a overall uh, uh, explanation. So, this is a uh, I mean, uh, representation of uh, uh, power system components, uh, internal circuit diagram of uh, transformer. So, in the single end diagram, we have we are using uh, this uh, diagram, I mean impedance uh, diagram, we are going to do, uh, discuss uh, in the future and uh, reactance diagram. There we are using uh, this type of uh, transformer. See here, if it is impedance diagram, uh, all those things must be there in the circuit diagram. See here, R1, X1 is the impedance, right? So, R0 is X0 is the impedance. If it is a reactance diagram, what you will do? Only resistance part will be eliminated and then only uh, reactance part uh, will be there, right? So, this is the transformer concept. Next, there is a equivalent circuit of uh, 
transmission lines. We have uh, two types of uh, uh, transmission lines. One is a uh, uh, T model and then pi model uh, transmission lines, right? So, and also we are uh, we are going to differ based on the kilometers, right? Uh, medium transmission lines, long transmission lines, short transmission lines, uh, less than um, uh, 80, it's a medium, uh, I mean, let's, let's, uh, less than 80 is a uh, small uh, uh, transmission lines, I mean, uh, and uh, medium is the 80 to 250, right? Medium transmission lines. And then 250 to above, uh, we can consider uh, uh, large transmission lines, right? Or uh, long transmission lines, right? So this one is a pi model. See here, it looks like a pi. And uh, there is a capacitor is present uh, in the, at, uh, at the uh, source side and then the receiving end side, right? So this is a charging admittance, I mean like uh, uh, capacitance and this one is a transmission lines uh, impedance, right? So supply voltage and uh, receiving end voltage. So this one is a supply current and then receiving end uh, current uh, will be there, right? So this uh, like this we are uh, going to uh, represent uh, in the power system uh, representation of uh, electrical components. So next we are going to um, draw impedance diagram and reactance diagram. If suppose impedance uh, diagram, definitely this resistance will be there, this reactance will be there. If it is uh, only reactance diagram, only reactance must be there, this resistance will be uh, eliminated, right? Next we have a three winding transformer, a three winding transformer where we can find any guesses. So three winding transformer, three phase transformer we are using in uh, uh, power uh, step down purpose or stepping down purpose. So I told you right nearby home you can find this type of three winding transformer that is not single phase transformer that is three winding transformer because three phase supply is coming from the substations again it is converted into single phase as well as three phase for domestic uh, use. See here three lines uh, from the transmission lines and after that we have a uh, four lines from the transformer. So it is star connected four lines in the sense R, Y, B one neutral will be there. If you connect R and neutral you will get 230 volts. If you connect R, Y, B neutral you will get three phase because we want three phase as well as a single phase right. So generally large power transformer uh, we can find a three winding transformer. Okay I will tell you one other one example where exactly we are using in our home also. So Every day we are using a, a transformer, uh, just uh, you can uh, disassemble your um, mobile charger, okay, parts, you know. So there inside there is a transformer is uh, uh, available because uh, just you think there is a transformer present uh, in the uh, charger because uh, 230 volts is uh, supply voltage, again discounted into 3.724 volts for your uh, mobile battery. So how does it converts? Because uh, we can use uh, uh, trans we have to use a transformer right so that's why uh, we must know uh, the basic uh, uh, knowledge about uh, transformer being electrical engineers next there is a supply uh, voltage different and then uh, from the secondary voltage I mean, uh, this this points and all uh, so similarity like uh, um, supply is uh, 220 kilovolts uh, i mean uh, output outside is uh, less or more so low impedance uh, flows certain abnormal current and then third harmonic will be such a third harmonic if suppose if um, the transformer also provides a uh, low impedance for the certain abnormal condition if suppose fault occurs in the output side or if suppose fault occurs in the input side so there is a heavy current is flowing through this transformer sometimes it'll, it will get damaged also that's why we have a low impedance uh, and then um, uh, provides uh, for a low uh, certain abnormal currents right so excitation also for regulating the uh, transformer right so this is a three winding transformer representation see here for uh, drawing the single line diagram of your uh, transformer uh, in the uh, problems this one is a three winding transformer uh, connection this is a star connected same as a generator okay and uh, zps is the zp plus zs zpt is the zp plus zt Zet, just to connect uh, uh, consider like this zps zp plus zt uh, zs and ZST, uh, ZST is uh, ZS plus ZT, ZS plus ZT, this impedance plus this impedance, ZPC is this impedance plus this impedance, so this impedance plus this impedance similarly. So equation 1 and 2, you will take uh, equation uh, 1, 2, 3 and uh, solve equation 1 and 2, 3, you will get uh, ZS, ZT uh, separately, right? See here, uh, there is a uh, available here. 
So we'll get uh, like this equations, right? So this is a three-winding transformer. 